Hello, my fellow obsessive opiate addicted orthodontist. Today, we continue with the I Love You Colonel Sanders series. It, it is a beautiful day when I get to continue this series. I wake up just thinking of Colonel Sanders and wondering, oh my god, I can't wait for it to be tomorrow so I can fucking just play the game and enjoy life and i hope you are in the same boat just thinking oh my god i cannot wait for atlas the monarch to play the amazing game you lie in bed staring at the ceiling thinking about the secrets you discovered while tasting colin sanders is cooking yesterday you can't believe he really used <coughs> and the secret ingredient not much of a secret huh it's probably just he trusts you so much sure that makes sense we'll go with that you meet up with your bestie in front of the school before you can tell her about the encounter with the spork monster, she launches into a story of her own. Okay, I knew this might seem a little strange, but I think I might be, um, I think I might like Clank. Like? Like? Like, like? I knew. Sounds like it's moving too fast, but there's something about him. I like him. Like, like him. Alright, pop off, Miriam. Fuck that robot or something. Whatever you want, go for it, homie. Pop off. We were talking after class, and he's actually a totally sweet guy. Not only that, but he's really smart. He told me all kinds of stories about Colonel Sanders. Did you know that Colonel Sanders was the most popular kid in his school? No, but that makes complete sense. Yeah, he was so popular, he was voted prom king at school. He didn't even go to... And he was also the, the 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 convertible. He was also the convertible. Con convertible. That himself. He was also the convertible that himself rode to the front of a homecoming parade. Wait. He was the convertible that he. So he rode himself to the homecoming parade. I'm so confused. How did Colonel Sanders ride himself to the... Oh! Was the robot the convertible that Colonel Sanders rode to the homecoming parade? Because that might make sense. I was like, how did Colonel Sanders ride himself to the homecoming parade? And can I please watch that? I would, I would love that. I would love to see that. I'm thinking maybe something got lost in the pressure cooker. Language transition there. Yeah, am I co even game me is confused. Either way, it might be best if you took it slow with this new boy. Like I'm with Colonel Sanders. You and Colonel Sanders, the coolest guy in school, the most famous to ever attend the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. You are a thing now. We definitely connected yesterday. We made some mashed potatoes, if you know what I mean. Grandma's secret recipe. Yo, yo, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, you sure did. You're great. Why wouldn't we be too? I guess. I am great. Fuck yeah. Laughing at the implication that you and Colonel Sanders might be a thing is definitely not cool. You are great. Fuck yeah. Atlas is a homie. Atlas the, the great. Atlas the monarch. Bye -bye. Woo. <laughs> you have no idea about how to prove that your love is real. Well, if he's not into me, why did he tell me one of the secret ingredients? Oh my god. If you, you don't tell her that you know the secret, second secret ingredient too, which you discovered on your own. Your bestie's eyes light up. Oh, secret ingredient? Yeah, it just, I just said that. Yeah. Is there a dramatic echo in here? What the fuck's up with you? You stupid? You a little slow? That's what I just said. Miriam checks to make sure you're alone before continuing. <clears throat> so this summer, I was on vacation with my family. A lovely man approached me in the botanical garden where I was wandering. This can't be good. He told me all about his passion for spices. Secret spices. The man even gave me some to show me what he meant, and he said it was a powder created from a super duper rare dried flower petals, and if I did in big favor, I could have some of my own. Please, Miriam, please don't. So I filled my suitcase with them and bought them home. He was so nice, he even met me at the gate when I arrived, later cooked with them. A very strange feeling came over me, and the flavor was like anything unlike I have ever tasted. I think you're bearing very, 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 very,
I think you're bearing bit words words are hard man I think you're be being very liberal with the meaning of spices here whatever anyhow we both share the interest in cooking so we stayed in touch you know like pen pals I bet he would have loved to know about the new spices I'm definitely not supposed to share so call no secrets the recipe and besides I only know one ingredient I doubt it'd be much more use to anyone cough fibber cough <laughs> cough fibber cough please 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 it would mean so much to me it would mean the world to me no one has ever known it come from you our colonel sanders tell her the great nah okay i'm not gonna lie to her like if i'm gonna not tell her then greeny i'll be straight up and be like yo it's me and the homies uh, secret like I told him I'll keep it a secret I'm keeping it a secret you don't lie to the homie you either be straight up and be like yo I'm not I'm just not telling you because it's a secret Is it lying that's fucked up but if it's between that and lying to the homie, I guess I'll... I'll I, I, she is the homie. She is the bestie. We've been besties forever. Look, man. It's either I'm going to be straight up and be like, I'm not telling you. <laughs> Colin O'Sanders said keep it a secret. I'm keeping it a secret, homie. Or you just tell her. There's no one between... Don't fuck it, you piece of shit. Okay, I'll tell you. Has to say a secret. Miriam nods ferociously. He told me that he uses... <laughs> Never would have guessed that, would you? Oh my god. Her eyes light up, imagining such a thing. You figure that you satisfied her curiosity, she'll move on. However, she immediately turns around and does not, and does some thumbs up thing on her phone that you can't swipe. See, this possibly is good. Before you can confirm, she was definitely not texting secrets to other people you interrupted. A wide Russian cherry blossom filled the air. <laughs> <laughs> no shot he pulls up to school on a fucking horse <laughs> all right buddy all right Colin I see you stand back in his majestic glory now nah, I'll run to him like the little damsel in distress I am you decide it's best to show Miriam how serious you and Colin Sanders are you run to him surely he'll sweep you off the back of the stallion and you'll ride away together That'll show how her good. Oh, Colonel, my Colonel! Oh, uh, your sudden move and surprise the horse and it rears up, kicking you directly in the face. You die. <laughs> the forest blow completely knocks you out cold. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. In the darkness, you see a vision. Ooh, Alice, I'm here to deliver your message. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Fucking died. It's important you remember this exactly as it is if you forget the world could end oh shit i kind of want the world in that would be hype i've been trapped here and from the realm beyond but a great prophecy relies on my return only you can save me all you need to do is repeat the name my name three times <laughs> and that name is <laughs> i like how we still don't know his his <laughs> The world relies on us knowing that motherfucker's name, and no one in the school knows it, and I think that's great. Before you can continue, you suddenly awake. Ah, jeez. <laughs> you find Colin of Sanders tending to you. He roused you back to he roused you back to life with the satchel of secret spices, or is that just his natural seasoned musk? That sentence. Is fucking wild to me, but we're just not. We're just gonna keep going, all right? I'm, I'm too high for this, but like that's that that's a great sentence. Compliment the craftsmanship. Lean in for a kiss. Yeah, give it a little. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You've known him for a day. Are you really sure? Yeah, sure. Fuck it. Why not? I guess you must be. You put your arms around Colonel Sanders. Pull him in for a kiss. But he turns his face and uh, you awkwardly kiss his ear. You can feel him shudder. Too soon. You clearly mistook compassion for love. Get the fuck out of here, wave browser. What the fuck you doing? You exposed my secrets, you dick. <laughs> Too soon. Ah, fuck. Your soul crawls inside itself and you instantly die of embarrassment. Oh, I actually die. Try again. Yeah. Wait. No. No shot. No. Do I have to? Oh, okay. 
you wake on day two. Attempt to process this vision. Uh, okay. On the bright side, I didn't, I didn't fucking, I didn't fucking, I didn't go back to the beginning like last time on the se on the second. Like, well, what the fuck, bro? I took a horse's knee to the face, just got up, but when I kissed Colin O'Sanders and he was like, uh, that's when I die? Bruh, you really survived a horse's knee to the face, but then died of embarrassment when your kiss got rejected? That's fucked up, bro. That's fucked up. Oh, I think I chose a different option than last time, so like the text is different now, but I've just been spamming through, so I... I, I because I don't feel like reading. I, I didn't even fucking notice. Anyways, she gives you a wink to smile as if to say situation handled. Can't blame a girl for trying. What the fuck did you do? Colonel Sanders looks horrified. I'm so confused at what happened, but you know, oh well, it happened. And with that, Colonel Sanders disappears into the school, leaving you and Miriam to follow. Oh, okay. When you enter the classroom, you see your two rivals, Ashley and Van Van, are doing something bad. By the way, they're hiding. You know it must be really bad. You, like counterfeiting receipts bad. Experimenting with restricted ingredients bad. Summoning a demon bad? Oh my god. Also, wasn't sure about this because I didn't know if they were in high school or university. But last episode, after I confirmed they are in university, so I finally get to say this. God damn, fucking Ashley is thick. Like, I, I, I was thinking it, but I was like, I, I don't know if she's legal. But now that I know she's legal, holy shit, she's fucking, I just gotta say, her thighs do <sighs> I, it's so sad she's a rival, cause holy- Anyways, <laughs> you try to peek over Van Van's hunking shoulders, but he sees you coming. Whoa, whoa there, I'm not sure you're ready to handle this. Tell him to stop back. Yeah, fuck off, bro. Act immature. You immediately dress the rivals down for the immature behavior. Like, look at that- Like, dude, she has- I'm just saying. I'm just saying, bro. Ashley might be a psychopathic demon, but I could change her. I could fix her. I could fix her. <laughs> I'm one of those motherfuckers. I see her and I'm like, I could fix her. I got this. <laughs> Calling her soul is the best to be respected. It's kind of nonsense to waste everyone's time. Now you've upset them. Oh, and you're the emperor of cooking, are you? Oh, and you're the emperor of cooking, are you? You make the rules. I'm not uh, I'm not sure what good meal be if... Yeah. My brain just broke. Look at this dude. He's going super saiyan. All right. Pop off, Joseph. I'm not sure you'd be good. You'd know a good meal if it ate you. Being the best chef in the world takes more than culinary skills. It takes creativity. It takes panache. And it doesn't hurt to use a little evil. <laughs> I feel like it does, though. <laughs> Like, I don't fucking know, man. I'm, I'm not a good chef, but, like, if I put poison into my shit, that might hurt a bit, you know? You finally get a good look at what they're hiding. You instantly recognize it. Oh, shit. It's up. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's the book, just like the one you encountered with sp the spork monster. Oh, my God. Same book I found last night in the quad. Mashley and immediately elbows Van Van, who had his books behind his back. I don't know what you're talking about. That book is a family heirloom and its contents are a secret. You notice they haven't been studying the book. They got pop. You notice that they haven't been studying the book. They got pop pinned to the wall and they're toasting potato skins at him, trying to catch them in his mouth. Why are they doing? What is happening? They pinned pop to the wall and. Okay. Pop off, I guess. We're paying. <laughs> I, uh, okay, have a great time with that pop. Just, just you know, stay safe or whatever. I don't fucking know. Before you could dig in any further, you're interrupted by the arrival. One more student. It's almost time for class. Clank. Bzzz, bzzz. Clank must be running late. He's in such a hurry that he rolls tight over Van Van's meaty food. Oh my god. Um. Also, Miriam, homie, this is the homie you decided to simp for. You falling in love with this motherfucker? Alright, pop off, I guess. Hey, watch it, you bucket of bullets! You watch how you talk to him. He didn't fucking do it, he's just a fucking robot. <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? I've never heard such language. You don't even feel my standard mix, are eh? 
clumps. No, you're mo- <laughs> Oh, that's- Dude. I kinda like Van Van now. <laughs> Look, man, as a your mom joke connoisseur, when someone makes a your mom joke of this level, of this quality, you kinda just gotta respect it, man. You kinda just gotta see that and be like, I kinda fuck with him now. He might be the villain. Ah, oh, dude, I- I hate it, but this dude's a fucking Joseph Joestar idiot douchebag, and I kind of like him a little bit. And Ashley, she her personality horrible. I hate her personality. But God damn, dude. God damn. <laughs> you know what I mean? I hate to say it, but I kind of like the villains. Not like personality wise, but like, you know. <laughs> Bam Bam jumped at the cl- Tad Tad cl- Okay, well, okay, like, okay, never mind. Never mind. Cause like, <sighs> I'm chilling if they're just a little toxic, but now that they're built, I forgot they were bowling pop, and now they're bowling clank. Like, I don't fuck with bullies. No matter how hot you are, if you bully someone, that's fucked up, bro. I don't fuck with that. If you're bowling my homies, then fuck you. Fuck ya, mate. So like, after deep consideration, I take back my statements about liking them. I've decided, eh. <laughs> I might take back my take back. I'm kind of into it. <laughs> what? What? I didn't say anything. Um, anyways, sorry. Protect me, Colonel Sanders. These crazed men are about to come to court blows. I think it might be over for me, but I'm not interested in either of them. Ashley's tone has completely changed in an instant. She bats her eyelashes at the Colonel Sanders. Surely you she must know this is a ruse, right? Gentlemen, get a hold of yourselves. Save it for the arena, at least. Or don't. Honestly, what do I care? I've got a lofty career and aspirations to focus on. <laughs> Based. He's like, fuck it. I don't give a shit what you do. I got better shit. Maybe I can help you with your business plan. Just then, sp oh my god, look at this good boy. Look at this good, oh, oh. Sprinkles arrives to uh, signal the tune of the start of the class. He's painting, which doesn't seem to be abnormal. He's a professor, but he's also a p dog. Oh, panting. I was like, that's not abnormal for a dog. <laughs> you know how my dog just be painting in the background while I'm trying to fucking film a video. I'm like, oh, I'm filming here. My dog just in the background painting sketches and shit. What the fuck? Bro? I hate it when that happens, bro. Students, students, please take your seats. Is uh, what? <laughs> what the fuck was that? His hat's covering it. But for a second, I swore I caught a glimpse of Nicolas Cage. What the fuck was that? I apologize for my late arrivals. I spent the morning uh, chasing a chair, a car all around town, <laughs> and my legs are very tiny and very, very tired. <laughs> Dude, if my teacher was late for that reason, I you just have to respect it. That's awesome. I'll be like, all right, you can be late for that. Fair enough, man. <laughs> but I'm here now, and I'm hoping you're ready to learn. Oh, that's not Nicolas Cage. It's just a dude. What the dude doing? Rub his furry dog belly. He loves it. After catching his breath, sir, sprinkles regains control of the classroom. What are the ethics of petting your teacher? Would petting your teacher be weird? I don't know, man. Without further ado, we can review the global histories of my favorite fowl, the chicken. You want to pay his attention to the lesson? You truly do. Which is why in nineteen in seventeen seventy six, the singing of the Dino singing, the singing of the Declaration of Independence. Yeah, it was sung into existence. It was the chicken who first. Had <laughs> really, really, that's crazy. But you can't help but daydream about Colonel Sanders and you miss the most important parts. What was what did we miss? What's the most important parts? But also, can we focus on the fact that the chicken signed the Declaration of Independence? Which chicken? Like is the, is it the chicken or is it just a chicken? Like did a chicken, a random chicken, just pull up and sign it, or is there a chicken? You know, like it's just like oh, that's the chicken, homie signing the Declaration. <laughs> When you come to Sprinkles, when you come to Sprinkles is holding a tray of food in front of you. Well, at least, naturally, it appears to be a simple platter. 
a glass of water, a dog bi which item do you want to, uh, dog biscuit. Because of the shape it's baked and you assume that the dog biscuit is a treat made by Sprinkles, an example of his own culinary talents perhaps, you reach out for it when Sprinkles jumps and bites <laughs> your apron. <laughs> What kind of monster would steal <laughs> that? That's fucked up. That is fucked up. Do I die for this? Because if so, I deserve it. I've died for less in this game. <laughs> what kind of monster would steal a dog's favorite biscuit? Your apron is left in tatters. The entire class looks at you in horror and fail as you fall unconscious from the embarrassment. Can this be the. <laughs> Am I gonna die again? So far, I have found every possible way to die in this game. I've died. If this is it, th this is like the third or fourth time I've died. I've died so many times. I find every possible way of dying in this game, and I say, fuck it, we ball. <laughs> Getting between a dog and his bone is a great choice. God! I died again? <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Alright, let's. Let's. Let, we're back. Let's sample a nice glass of water, cause that's that's great. Let's sample this whole glass of water. Oh, I can't wait to taste what this water tastes like. Also, can we? I just I was thinking about it. Can we just acknowledge the fact that my fucking professor just killed me? Like that's fucking wild, dude. Hey, that was mine. It was from my favorite toilet. You owe me six dollars. <laughs> All right, Sprinkles. And you've got excellent taste. You think to yourself, geez, I should pay better attention. We all make mistakes. I'm sure he'll forgive you someday. Come on, it's time for lunch. Also, I chose the other wrong option. <laughs> it's fucked up. Before you, you could relax, the cafeteria lights dim, and your rivals make a dramatic entrance. Today's lunch will be prepared via competitive cook-off <laughs> they're so anime look at them go <laughs> the level of theatrics with these two is off the charts um step on you're on you're on i'm gonna out cook the motherfucking shit out of you boys you have no fucking idea a bit of a lunchtime competition huh count me in we have wiped the tables with you fools before I sat down on it. Fuck. Come on. I'll wipe the tables with you fools before I set my lunch down on it. I'm not the fool. You're the fool. Good one, Van Van. I like your gumption, Atlas. I'll be waiting on your performance. Just as things reach the boiling point, Sprinkles absent. Surely you'll put a stop to this madness. Now, now, students, please settle down. This is a lunchroom after all, not sports and court. Finally, a little sense. You say, breathe a sigh of relief. At least not until we turn on the fucking timer, eh? Let's get this shit cooking. Timer ready. Timer ready. Huge flat blast in your face. Words timer ready. That's what I'm talking about. Fuck yeah. I I stand corrected. The way the... Hard way. The hard way builds solidly on the foundation of confidence that cannot be swept away. Alright, buddy. <laughs> Whatever that means. And the original quote, by me in any case, if anyone was wondering, it's a message that lifts you to victory. Alright, buddy. Like a diamond, I was formed under pressure, and now this is my chance to shine. Dude. I'm sorry. But, like, that right there... Anyways, anyway, <laughs> I will defeat you myself. You hand his chicken to mashed potatoes gravy one day. You're feeling like you could really impress him again here. It's time to boil some water for their potatoes. Yeah, let's go. Think fast. If the timer runs down, we will be forced to pick randomly. Um, what temperature does water boil at? Uh, uh, yeah, fuck. And I, yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know that normally, but I... Uh, fucking uh, it's, it's, uh, give me, uh, wait is it celsius because if it's so it's uh was it in celsius because uh, if so it's a hundred degrees celsius for boiling and zero degrees celsius for freezing because like celsius actually makes sense i thought it was in fahrenheit and i panicked because i was like what the fuck is it but it was celsius it was obvious it was a hundred i'm stupid I'm a small little brain. I have a small little brain boy brain. 
you go into the next se season your chicken. You don't know uh, the recipe, but you, uh, uh, how many herbs? Seven. Yes. What? Wasn't it? I'm so fucking confused. Was it not seven? <laughs> I've been, sh I've seen schnozzers schnoz with a better sense of that. And the minotaur, ca ca and in the miniature ca I've seen schnozzers with better sense than that, and in the miniature kind, no less. Now that you've got some basic steps going, it's time to elevate your craft. Uh, what's the state of, uh, trust, gratitude? That's right, I'm so smart. I'm so fucking smart. You must never take this opportunity for granted if you hope to succeed. Your classmates are rooting for you, but Ashley is simply stronger and faster than you. You better pick up your pace if you want to survive. My dog's fucking barking. I'm gonna see what's up. Be right back. Homie was just barking at the neighbors. I looked outside and there was just a dude, and I was like, I'm sorry, bro. And then my dog was just like, fuck this dude. And I was just like, I'm sorry, this is just my dog. And the dude's like, it's all good. And I'm like, okay, smiley face. When you were a child, your father told you to never forget where you came from. Every day you meditate on his advice and draw energy from that place. Now would be a great time to harness energy. So where does it come from? Uh, the shoulder of Orion? Deep beneath with the surface? Fuck! <laughs> uh, I didn't even read all the options. I'm, I'm, I'm a slow reader. What can I say? This is a horrible time to start forgetting important things. Can you possibly cover? No. <laughs> oh, I died again. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you when I get back, I guess. Alright, time ready. Go. Let's go. All right, it's time. Um, 100 degrees Celsius. Yeah. Okay. It was 100 degrees Celsius or 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And I, 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 I. Okay. Okay. It's 100 degrees Celsius. I'm a dumb little dumb little boy. All right. Whatever. Whatever. We make mistakes. We move on. Ten. No. It's a. It's eleven. <laughs> All right. I've seen schnauzers. Shut up. Um, gratitude. Yes. I'm, I'm s big brain. The shoulder of Orion. A small town. Uh, Pacific. F fuck. Next question. Um, uh, w sound of success. Bubbling. Sizzling. <laughs> Don't make me get the spray bottle. Is this the end? Yep. Okay. Okay. I'll see you when I get back. But again, because I keep fucking losing. I keep. I found every possible way to lose in this game. This is fucked up. All right, let's go. Celsius. Boom. Big brain. So smart. God damn it. I was just spamming click. I didn't. <laughs> Gratitude. I, I hate this game. Um, this, uh, small town where dreams are born. Right. Oh, you try to shout out the arena before you focus. Um, bubbling. That's wrong. <laughs> Why is it wrong? I believe in you, Atlas. Thank you, Colonel Sanders. He's actually cheering you on. Fuck yeah. Which would be awesome, expecting, uh, knowing he's watching you, which makes you forget what you're doing. Oh, I'm all nervy, worthy. Now all you could think about is Colonel Sanders. Oh, that's so real. How many spoons of gravy would uh, f get your mind back on the competition? Grr. You're stranded on a desert island with only one cookbook. Which one do you take? What a hunk. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's so anime. I know, right? You know what? You shouldn't be focused on the challenge. You're failing behind. You and Colonel Sanders uh, walking in the beach. Yeah. What does that have to do with crafting fried chicken and del delicate baked biscuits? On oh God, bro. Woof, woof. You're really struggling to keep up. The next station over, Ashley has already begun to placing her elements on her dish. It's colorful and complex. You make up time, you toss your biscuit dough in the stand mixer. As you do, the crowd gasps. Yikes! Wait, that's not her, all her voice. Um, yikes! Zip. I knew you loved nothing more than seeing a fellow and a pilot's appliance utilized in a kitchen battle, but sometimes that means sacrificing the personal touch. Zip. You might not have any hands, but Atlas does, and the good chef needs to be touching the dough to know when it's properly mixed. There's an easy way, not a hard way. You don't have to get, you don't get so far by the easy way. When you hear the, everyone talking, you realize he's the serious errors were, how serious your errors were. You immediately shove your hands into the mixer and you're, to rescue your dough before it gets overmixed. Atlas, no! Am I gonna die again? 
but you're not fast enough. Your hand gets stuck and immediately crushed the spitting by the spitting batter. There's no way you'll be able to use that hand for the rest of the match. Kano shakes his head in shame. I'm trying my best, man. I'm trying my best. I'm just thinking of the Kano Osi, the Kanosi, the Colin Sanders Osi, the the K the C K O C. <laughs> what you find is uh, is that the easy way it turns out to be much much more difficult. Everyone, stop what you're doing right now. This battle is over. It can't be. I was so close to finishing my dish. Fuck, man. Sweetheart, look at your hands. You simply can't go on. Oh, too bad. And here I am, compliment. It was completely dead, dead dish ready to serve. Surely that makes me the winner by final thought. No, no, no. It wouldn't be fair to compare compared to the two on account of Atlas's injury. I'm good, bro. Fuck you, Ashley. You see, Sprinkles begin to lick his doggy chops as he locks onto the dish. His doggy chops? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> All right, buddy. But I suppose you should at least tell us what you prepared. Well, because I'm the sweetest, I skipped straight to the dessert. Under this white chocolate- Oh my god, dude. What the fuck is that? Dom, you'll find a wide array of delicate delights. Taking you on a journey of flavor that tastes good and tells a story of excellence. I was going to ask Alice to do the honors, but since you're injured, I'm afraid you cannot be pouring. The creamer of the delicate hot chocolate sauce might be too difficult. Colonel, San Colonel Sanders, if you wouldn't mind lending me your strong, steady hand. Colonel Sanders pours the hot chocolate sauce on top of the dome, causing it to melt away, revealing the ingredients hidden within. That's so sensual. That's so sensual and sad. Oh my god, what the fuck? How did you do that? Oh my Jesus, dude. How, like, how do. I'm impressed. Ashley, pop off. Look at you. Inside, you'll find a delicate dirt, fried cheese, cron, cook, cook, mm, atop a slice of honeycomb, ice thin and creamy in two different ways, tender nougat and pearls of blueberry galee. Colonel Sanders seems intrigued, but perhaps not impressed as he dips his fingers in the hot chocolate sauce. Simplicity isn't your strong suit, is it, Ashley? Oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> He places the hot, a sausage-covered finger into his lip. Ashley leans over and whispers something as to his ear. A dab of sauce sticks into his mustache. Internalized, I'm rageful. I'm filled with rage, anguish, disgust, and anger. Internalized rage, you feel? Yeah, I feel, I feel the rage burning intensely within your ears. They burst into flames. The flames cause your eye... <laughs> Am I gonna die again? <laughs> Am I gonna fucking die again? Oh my god. <laughs> no. And turn to Ash. They fall out of your face, which me means people have t a hard time understanding your emotions for the rest of the semester. Perhaps forever. Embarrassed and ashamed by your performance, not to mention your crispy fried brows, you run to the quads be alone. <laughs> the beautiful weather fit. Okay, I didn't die. That's good. That's hype. That's hype. That's hype. Feels like an insult. Inside of you, a storm rages. It's Colonel Sanders. He's probably here to tell you that he and Ashley are in love and has decided to get married or some gay shit. Have fun with the cooties that Ashley has. Colonel. Dick. He won't even ask you to cater his wedding because you're a terrible chef and an awful person. This is true. This is true. This is exactly what's going to happen. You try to hide from him, but he approaches you directly. I know you're hurting right now, not just from the devastating loss, but from that run-in with the mixture and that small fire. We should get that checked out. I'm fine. <laughs> Can't you just leave me alone? I'm a loser. I'm not fit to fulfill your fryer. I'll never be a master chef. Failure is a part of life, not just for you, but for all of us. Do you think I have never failed at anything before? That's exactly what I think. What the fuck? You're perfect. You're literally perfect. Look at your chiseled abs. That jaw. So sexy jawline. That perfect nose. The gut. Ah. Well, think again. I wasn't always the man you see before you. Enrolled in culinary school. Incredibly handsome. Successful. Motivated. <laughs> okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Uh, confidence, I guess. That's good for you, man.
I wish I had that kind of confidence. Well, handsome, sure. I was born that. <laughs> 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 okay, pop off, homie. <laughs> but I've walked other paths and arrived at dead ends. I was passionate about life, but I failed as an ob obstacle. Is that a real thing? What the fuck does that mean? I don't know, man. I was passionate about justice, but I failed as a lawyer. I was passionate about livestock, but I even failed as a meal hand. You were passionate about livestock? Pop off for me. That one was especially humiliating. Meals can be so cruel. How old are you? Because if you failed as a lawyer and a livestock and whatever the fuck the first one was, like... How old? All right, pop off, homie. I didn't know. People say my delicate ribbon tie and my well-kept beard assume that I'm all got together, which is true now, but it hasn't always been. Sounds like this guy could really use a hug, for real. Sometimes homies just need a hug. On God, bro. I resolved that when I was going to amount to something. No amount of hours, labor, or money would deter me from giving you the best I had to give. Colonel Sanders changes focus. You could see something ignited inside him. A burning passion. Oh my god. One has to remember that every feller can be a stepping stone to some something better. And my new dream is pure. It's honest. It's something that a humble man in a crisp white suit can be proud of. Yeah. For real, bro. Be proud of your shit. Be proud of your white suit, man. Pop off. I will create a new chain of chicken restaurants that will bring joy to the entire world and make up for past misdeeds. That's exactly what happened. Yay! Just as your moment grows intimate, you're interrupted by a threatening, shadowy presence. It's the spork monster? Oh shit! Oh shit, homies return! Gorka, the spark monster is here to fight a hero! Is anyone else feeling a bit of deja vu? Oh wait, that's, that's, Con that's Colonel Sanders. I'm sorry, Gorko, but I could have sworn we already battled you the other night. Sorry, that was Borko, my twin, and I, Gorko, am here to avenge them. Are you stronger than Borko? Well, we're twins, so... No. Not really. We're pretty much the exact equal in every way, why do you ask? Colonel Sanders smirks. He's already on the same page as you. It's just that we beat Borko pretty easily, you know? So I doubt you'll have much of a chance, like, not to mention I feel really guilty about that. If I could take it back, I would. I think what all of this was Sean says, we can't just be friends, can't we? Life is too short or some shit like that, making enemies, you know? I suppose we don't really need to fight, it's just that I got these pointy teeth and claws, I thought we might as well now that we're here, you know? And the better enjoying food, surely, surely you like to eat, don't oh. All the better at enjoying foods. Surely you like to eat, don't we all? Of course I do. I'm fucking Sparkle. I have sporks for hands. What the fuck do you think I use this for? I'm fucking Sparkle. Inspiration strikes you and you come up with a quick idea. Chomp on this, nerd. You toss a biscuit into Gorko's open mouth and he devours it in one gulp. Oh, oh, delicious. You're much miser than the evil students who once upon a time turned me into this creature who stands here today. I don't believe this. You were a human once? What the fuck? Well, no, I was a chihuahua. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Turning chihuahuas into spork monsters. You know, one might say that a spork monster is an upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I don't know, man. <laughs> but I was a student at school until one day when some mean kids with magical spell books cast a dark enchantment on me and I was forever transformed. A magical spell book? Precisely. Borco used to have a copy, but somewhere along the way we lost it. If you find a book, I beg you, respect it. You're powerful. You're a powerful chef. You shouldn't rely on such dark and evil magic. No, you should be protecting the innocent from those who would cheat them through sorcery and guile. If you need me, don't fear. I'll be there. Sounds like there's some bad cooks in the kitchen on life. Atlas, and together, I, d together I'm sure we can defy them. Come back to, to my hideaway and we could discuss. Does he have a bed, please? Please tell me he has a bat cave. The Colonel Sanders KFC bat cave goes high, goes hard. A personal invite. You can't imagine what Colonel Sanders home must be like. Oh, oh, but it sounds like you're about to find out. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh shit. 
Stepping into Sanders' home, surrounded by his things, you start to feel a special bond with him. It looks like I, you live such an exciting life, Colonel Sanders. Every day can be an adventure if you approach it with the right attitude. And with that, I'm gonna leave it here. I'm kind of hungry. I'm gonna make some breakfast. I'm gonna drink some water. If you're watching at home, make sure to hydrate. That's very important. And I'm probably gonna take a nap because I'm very tired. And I need my naps or else I get cranky. And we're almost at the cranky stage and that's not good. So if you like this episode, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time, boys. Bye-bye.